Hello and welcome to this video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video. Uh, there you can find all the notes for what we're going over today, as well as the other videos in this series. And there's also links to uh, my website, where you can search through my videos and ways to support me if you like my videos. Let's go ahead and let's create some barcodes. In the previous video, we created QR codes. QR codes are awesome, way better than standard uh, 1D barcodes that we're talking about today. I also want to point out that uh, UPCs on products, when you go to the store, or grocery store, or wherever, their UPCs are a barcode, but not all barcodes are UPCs. UPC is a particular format of barcode, which you could generate as well, but just following that standard. But I'm going to have this message here, Echo, this is my message. And uh, well, first off, you have to make sure that barcode is installed. So sudo apt install barcode is the command on a Debian-based system. I already have it installed. There we go. So it's good. So let's go ahead and take our Echo message. I'm going to say echo this is my message and we're just going to put that into barcode and let's see what happens. Oh, we got this information on the screen. What is all this? So what it's doing is it's generating what's called a postscript file, a PS file, which is just to simplify it. There are differences, but it's basically like a PDF. Okay. Uh, but it gave me the information. That's what it looks like. That file actually looks like it's that information. Uh, let's bring up my file manager. So I'm in the shell up here on the top. This is the same folder I'm in down here. Let's go ahead and delete that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that same command. I'm going to give the message barcode, but I'm just going to redirect it. So greater than symbol, and I'm going to create a file called message.ps. Now you can see we have a PS file here. To check that we did everything properly from the shell, file, file, you give it a file name and it will tell you what type of file it is. And it should tell me this is a postscript file. It does. That means that it converted properly or generated properly. Let me go ahead and click on this. It's going to open it up just like, like again, like a PDF, basically. Let's go ahead and open this up. And this is how it formats by default. It gives you a full page and puts the barcode at the bottom. I don't know why it's like that. I've looked through the man page. I don't see a way to change that with the strict output. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use image magic. What is image magic? Image magic is a suite of tools. Uh, think of it as like Photoshop for the shell. If you can edit and manipulate images certain ways in Photoshop, you can do the same things in the shell using Image Magic. Good chance it's already installed on your Linux machine. If not, just sudo apt install Image Magic. One of the tools is their convert command. So let me go ahead and run the same command before. Instead of dumping it into a file, I'm going to pipe it into convert. Okay. So convert, I could just say convert msg jpeg dot jpeg, and that would create a image, a JPEG image, exactly like that PS file, right? It's just going to be an image. But here I'm saying, okay, take the standard input. That's what we're converting. Trim it and repage it. That means if there's any white borders, remove all the white borders. So if we do that, we now have this MSG file. I can double click on this and open it up in my file viewer. Let's try it again. Open up shot well. There we go. So we have this. It tells you what the message is under there, but I could trim this off. Like if I wanted to crop it and just be the dash lines, you could read it with a barcode scanner. Most cell phones will read it. So you could have a message this way. To have a decent message, a de decent sized message, the barcode's going to get pretty big. That's where QR codes come in. They, they compress things very well. A teeny tiny QR code can hold a couple of pages of text, basically, where a standard barcode like this cannot. But if you needed to, you could do this. And the nice thing about this, it's just you know, lines, I could trim this down to like one pixel and it could be read by something that reads barcode. So for example, in a previous video, we talked about Z bar image, Z bar image. And then again, we're going to give it the quiet and the raw, the quiet raw. So we don't get any of the extra output. And then I'll give it my message dot JPEG. And it tells me what the message is. So theoretically I could send somebody a bunch of QR or bunch of barcodes and they can decode a whole bunch of them and get a message. Like I could literally just send a one pixel high image to somebody, but a bunch of them, and then they could decode them in order and decode a whole book's worth of stuff. Uh, so even though the barcode could get big, I could have, again, each barcode be just one or two pixels high, stack them all together. And with a, with using image magic, trim each one, then decode them. And actually, I don't even know if I would need to decode them because if I put more than one barcode, okay, let, let's 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 experiment. I'm gonna play around, and uh, so now I'm going to just try something I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna say, "Hello world." 
So I'm creating a message two. So now we have uh, message one, the first message here, and message two. I could trim them down, but let me just go ahead and put them together. So I'm gonna say convert, and I'm gonna say message two. Actually, let's do message one first. Message JPEG, message two. Uh, I think that's all I have to do. And then for the output, I just say new.jpg. There we go, it is right here. I need to change my default viewer. Actually, no, that's not the command, let's do this. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna take those two images and I have to say dash append. And I could actually just say all those. So if I had a whole bunch of messages starting off with MSG, uh, that would work right there. Let's do that. And now they're stacked. Now if I look at Z bar image dash dash quiet dash dash raw and I give it the new message dot JPEG. Nope, it only got the one barcode. I thought maybe it would look for multiple barcodes in that image, but uh, it just found the last one, I guess. So might need to do a little bit of work, but theoretically, again, you could stack a bunch of barcodes to get larger messages. I'm just theorizing now. That's the whole point of the series. It's just fun ways to think of how you can communicate messages different ways by encoding them different ways. So anyway, that's a look at barcodes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you have a great day.